Tony Colley has always had an interest in weather and nearly every day for the past eight years he has been providing rain and snow measurements from his backyard as a Coco Ross observer. Wanted to get involved in Coco Ross mainly because they need ground truth basically all over the place as dense a network as they can get because of course the weather service can't have people all over the country so they need citizen volunteers to step up to give them details of the rain that's fallen over a county or whatever because it can vary vastly within a few miles. Coco Ross stands for Community Collaborative Rain Snow Hail Network. The network is spread all across the country as volunteers gather and provide information that is available to many organizations including the National Weather Service, researchers and even city utilities. These measurements are very easy for volunteers to take and log in a database. Uh, basically Every morning I come out and check the rain gauge and see what's in it. Since the network relies on volunteers, participation is crucial. Across northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio, there are 392 registered observers, but only 78 of them have filed a report this year. That is just shy of 20%. If you would like to learn how to be an observer, there is a free Coco Ross training session open to all ages this Thursday at Sweetwater Sound from 630 to 8. I'd say go ahead and do it, especially if you live in places where there are very few of them. If you live anywhere um, and have an interest in weather at all and in helping out, they use this for flood forecasts and all sorts of things.